Hey guys, welcome back to the car review series. Today we'll be taking a look at all the cards from the Strut Down the Runway Scouting and Event. The cards this time are mostly for costume collectors, so you won't be missing out on much if you don't scout or play the event. The featured UR for part 1 of the Strut Down the Runway Scouting Box is Honoka. Honoka is a cool attribute car with guard typing and her highest stat is Technique, reaching 6658 at level 80 and all practice tiles unlocked with no limit increases. Honoka's card skill restores stamina equal to 20% to 32% of her stamina stamina value. Her passive ability increases the base stamina of cool attribute cards by 4% to 5.2%, and her show ability reduces stamina damage by 2.5% for 5 notes, which is guaranteed to activate the first 8 times the SP skill is used. Now I know Honoka isn't one of the smarter idols, but this Honoka is very confused about what she wants to do. Her stat distribution is focused more on the offensive side, but her skill set is completely defensive. Unlike other more useful hybrid cards, Honoka's card skill has an effectiveness based on her stamina value, which happens to be her lowest stat. This means in terms of keeping you healthy during a song, Honoka isn't a very strong option to use. The closest card I can compare this with is Initial Hanyo that also has a high technique value with low stamina, these are the kinds of cards you would consider using if you find that you don't really need that much defensive power for a particular song and would rather use a more offensive option. But since Honoka is cool attribute, she is competing with Festival Mari and Riko who are both top tier defensive cards with strong offensive potential. Even though Honoka does have a higher technique value than both of these cards, she doesn't offer any other offensive benefits so she isn't that desirable to use. The only scenario you would prefer to use Honoka over those two, assuming you had the freedom of choice, is when a song specifically benefits guard type cards, such as Wake Up Challenger. But if there's no specific trick notes or appeal chance effects to take advantage of, Festival Mari and Riko are just so much better to use as a cool attribute defensive option. The last thing to mention is her show ability, which can provide 2.5% damage reduction for up to 40 notes each song, assuming you activate the SP skill 8 times during a song with no overlap. This is a rather negligible amount, and even assuming that there's no overlap between activations, you'll only be preventing a whopping 1 notes worth of damage in the end. As you would expect, this isn't a very good show ability, but it's better than nothing. Honoka is going on the defensive tier list in C tier. This is actually the first time since I've started compiling these lists that I've added a scouting box card to the defensive C tier. This card just isn't very good defensively due to her low stamina value, and because of a lack of an offensive skill set, she's not worth putting on the offensive list as well. This is by far one of the worst cards for team building released in quite some time. The featured SR for both boxes is the Mitaiken Horizon Hanamaru. Hanamaru is an active attribute card with voltage typing and her highest stat is appeal at 4340. Hanamaru's card skill increases the appeal of active attribute cards by 4% to 5.2% for 5 notes. Her passive ability increases the base appeal of active attribute cards by 2% to 3.2% and her show ability increases the appeal of active attribute cards by 3.8% for 5 notes, which is guaranteed to activate whenever an appeal chance is cleared. This Hanamaru has a nice offensive stat distribution, as well as the coveted triple smiley faces for her skill set, so it really doesn't get much better than this for an offensive SR card. Her appeal value isn't as high as some of the stronger SR cards like Katori or Maki, but she's definitely the strongest active attribute SR card to use and can synergize well with any other active attribute cards. She would be pretty strong at maximum limit increases, but since the UR cards this time aren't very desirable to scout for, you'd be lucky to get even one copy of her in future scouting boxes. With no limit increases, Hanamaru can still do quite well on the early stages of DLP, so she's at least more useful than a lot of the other SRs out there. The feature you are for part 2 of the Strut Down the Runway scouting box is I. I is a natural attribute card with skill typing and her highest stat is appeal of reaching 5905 at level 18. All practice tiles unlocked with no limit increases. I's card skill increases the appeal of cards on the same strategy by 7% to 9% for 5 notes. Her passive ability increases the base technique of cards on the same strategy by 5% to 7% and her show ability increases the total voltage by 100% of her appeal value which is guaranteed to activate the first time the SP skill skill is used. Whenever K-Lab releases a new natural attribute UR card, there's usually some fundamental flaw that makes them not worth using. For I, it's the curse of being skill type. That's her major drawback, but her offensive stats aren't too good either. Her highest stat is appeal and it doesn't even reach over 6000, which is the benchmark that separates cards from the top offensive list and the bottom offensive list. 
As for her skill set, she does have a great card skill with a strategy-based appeal boost which Initial Kanan also possesses. But that's all that's good about her skill set since boosting the base technique is the least important passive ability for most players to use and her show ability is just a glorified voltage plus insight skill and we all know how much the community loves to hate those skills. I is going on the bottom offensive tier list in B tier. Too much of Ai's stat distribution is invested into stamina, which takes away from her offensive potential. Since she doesn't offer much synergy on a side strategy either, the only real use for this Ai is her costume most likely. There's still the event cards to talk about, and just like the scouting box cards, their main use is for their costumes. The first SR you can get is the Yume no Tobira Nozomi. Nozomi is a pure attribute card with voltage typing and her highest stat is appeal at 3316. Nozomi's card skill increases the total voltage by 25% to 37% of her appeal value. Her passive ability increases her own base appeal by 5% to 7%, and her show ability increases the voltage gain from the next SP skill used by 2.6% of her appeal value, which is guaranteed to activate whenever an appeal chance starts. Nozomi has a great skill set for an offensive card, but due to being an event card, her appeal value isn't very high, even with the help of her greedy passive ability. She's like a worse version of the Sorewa Bokutachi no Kiseki Maki, who is the second strongest SR card and also pure attribute. To put into perspective, perspective, the power level difference, it would only require Maki to have one limit increase to be equal in power to this Nozomi at maximum limit increases. Even so, if you did get the additional limit increases for her from playing the event, Nozomi would go from mediocre to somewhat decent, which would allow her to do some work in early stages of DLP pure attribute songs. The other SR you can get is the Yagate Hitotsu no Monogatari Shizuku. Shizuku is an elegant attribute card with guard typing and her highest stat is stamina at 3596. Shizuku's card skill grants a shield of power equal to 15% to 27% of her stamina value. Her passive ability increases the base stamina of elegant attribute cards by 2% to 3.2% and her show ability restores stamina equal to 6.6% of her stamina value which is guaranteed to activate whenever an appeal chance is cleared. I would consider this Shizuku to be the best card you can get this event, and whenever the SR card is better than the UR card, it's quite tragic. Shizuku is a shielder that can provide guaranteed heals with her show ability, which puts her on the premium list of shielder cards. Getting a new defensive card is always a good thing for DLP, and there's no reason not to get the additional limit increases for her from playing the event, since it's just so easy to do. She makes for an excellent defensive card to use for DLP elegant attribute songs, but ironically this card isn't good to use for her third solo song, since that's natural attribute instead. Finally, the event you are this time is Daya. Daya is an elegant attribute card with SP typing and her highest stat is technique reaching 5222 at level 80 and all practice tiles unlocked with no limit increases. Daya's card skill increases the voltage gain of the next SP skill used by 30% to 32% of her appeal value. Her passive ability increases her own base appeal by 7% to 9% and her show ability fills the SP gauge by 2.7% of her appeal value which is guaranteed to activate at the start of a song. Daya can continues her track record of having the worst UR cards in the game. Granted, she does have two event UR cards now, but even so, Daya seems to be K-Lab's least liked girl at this point with all the mediocre cards she gets. As for this card in particular, it's on the lower end of useful offensive event UR cards. Although Daya does have a decently high technique value, she won't be able to take advantage of the increased critical rate very well due to her appeal value being so low, and even with her greedy passive, it just isn't very high. Daya's show ability does have some niche uses in providing guaranteed SP fill at the start of a song. This can be useful for certain songs that require using the SP skill early on, and if the amount Daya provides is enough to use the SP skill before the first appeal chance ends, then this is an alternative way to approach that kind of appeal chance without forming a dedicated SP filling strategy. But since Daya's appeal stat is rather low, she probably won't be able to fill the SP gauge that much without some limit increases, so unless you're literally missing one or two notes for an SP skill use, Daya's show ability won't make much of of a difference. Daya is going on the bottom offensive tier list in E tier. Like the majority of offensively focused event UR cards, Daya just can't compete with the scouting box UR cards, and even with limit increases, she won't be doing that much. This event is the epitome of costume collection, for the most part. That's the end of the car review, here's a quick look at all the tier lists.
In case you didn't know, I finally finished my All-Stars book. You can download this 600-page PDF by becoming a member of my Patreon and pledging $5. Infinite knowledge of All-Stars could be yours, and it comes with the bonus of paying for my cover on them. Patreon members also get to watch my car review videos one day earlier before their public release. At the end of my car reviews is when I shout out my super special supporters on Patreon. All my SR, SSR, and UR card members are shown on screen. Thank you for your immense support. It makes my heart go doki doki. My final thoughts? This is a great set for costumes, but a terrible set for team building. As always, save your star gems for the festival boxes and the anniversary boxes coming out very soon hopefully. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.